I went to use Moto Chopper to see if it would root my NVIDIA Shield, and it. I've been having issues with drivers. Well, apparently, if you go to the NVIDIA Shield, Shield Android development, and then this Universal Naked Driver thread, I'll show you that real quick. You just go down here, and it's by One Way Johnny, so shout out to him. Uh, you can go down here, and you just press download this. I already did that. It is in my downloads folder. I will show you... There you go. Uh, Universal Naked Drivers. You just uh, take that and you extract it. And uh, there's my Moto Chopper thing. I have moved those to my desktop, which is right here. So I've got the AMD 64 and the i386. I'm going to show you what happens when I plug in my NVIDIA Shield to my computer. Uh, I have USB debugging enabled on my Shield. You'll go to Menu, Settings. Uh, about shield or whatever and then you'll keep tapping on the build number until it says you are now a developer back out and you should see developer options so when i plug in my shield it says this uh shield and then when i go to my uh computer and i go to c and then i do manage uh da da da, da. come on do it do it do it this thing is kind of slow sorry device manager um wow okay so there's shield update device driver browse for my computer so on my desktop there's that universal naked driver folder just press ok press next and you'll think all is going well until you see this the hash for files not present in the catalog specific file it is likely corrupt or victim of tampering so this video is going to show you how to fix that uh here it has the instructions you go to more pc settings so you'll like get the little thing to pop up over here if I can get mine to do it, so settings, and then um, change PC settings, and then general, and then you go all the way down here until you see restart now. Click on that, and then in a second here, I, I, I wish I had an SSD in this thing. Uh, I don't, so it's going to take a second. So we'll, we'll go here to troubleshoot. And then we'll go to advanced options. And then you'll go to startup settings right here. And then you've got these options. So you just press restart. And when you press restart in a second here. Uh, this Again, this takes a second. I'm sorry. I'm going to go ahead and unplug my NVIDIA shield for now. All right. So... What we're trying to do is disable driver signature match. So we're going to press 7 on our keyboard here. And I have not done this yet. So this is going to be a first time thing. Disable driver signature. And then when it comes up in a second here. Sorry if my audio is loud. I, my daughter's home and I usually don't do advanced tutorials when she's home because she's so freaking loud. Um, Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I want to do this. You're taking forever, though. I don't know what it's... It's not doing anything. It's... My computer's... Okay, there we go. All right, we're logging into Windows here. I have mine set to auto-login because I hate putting my password in. Come on. Come on. I hate how slow this is. All right, so we're going to press Windows D to go to our desktop. And then, of course, my computer's starting up, so it's going to take a second for everything to go through. But... All right, so once we see, like, stuff pop up in a second here. All right, I'm going to go and try it now. So I'm going to go back to the manage thing. I just click on this little folders thing down here. Like I did a minute ago. And then... Oh, great. Close. The, everything's signing in. Quit. This thing... Oh, man. I, I have not had to use a normal hard drive in forever. And this thing is incredibly slow. All right. Come on. 
All right, there we go. So under computer, we'll hit manage again. And then, well, let me hook up my NVIDIA shield. All right, plugged it in. It says connected as media device, USB debugging connected. And it says it right there. So, th okay, this finally popped up. This thing is terribly slow with a normal hard drive in it. Uh, update driver software, browse for my computer. See, it's already in that folder. So let's just go ahead and press next. And now we should, yes. Yes, yes, and yes. All right. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. This is all real time. This is real. NVIDIA Shield ADB successfully installed. Yes. So, what happens when I unplug it? And plug it back in. The thread also says something about um, going in there and I don't know. There we go, there's that thread. Well, there we go. I think it's everything's complete. Um, we'll go to manage one last time. Uh, computer, manage. And then under device manager, it, this is my touch screen. I got my, I have my touch screen laptop closed, so it's freaking out. Um, if I open the lid, it would not mess up. I'm, I'll close it so it would throw everything over HDMI, not the internal screen. So there we go. Uh, no problems at all. Uh, Android device, NVIDIA Shield ADB. Nice. So then we can try Motor Chopper and see if it'll root it or not. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I do have an NVIDIA Shield unboxing. You can check that out. Links will be in the description. I'm also going to run Motor Chopper and see if that'll root it. And if it does, I will put together a quick video. This is what we Josh do, and I am out.